So Arendelle will have first use of the footy as Josiah nearly gets us underway. That's a low driving kickoff. No mistakes off the restart as they bring it forward with plenty of gusto. Look to hold out the go out here to the right hand side. Anderson, flat pass there onto his centre. Mercer. And a forward pass the call, so a massive let off there for Hallam. Sweeney in a dummy half. Long pass back in towards the middle, towards Anderson. Now linking up through the middle. Svaga. Looking for a quick play. The ball brought down. Now Anderson a dummy half. Flat pass now onto Mercer. He'll poke his nose through. For the opening four-pointer of this round three clash. That opportunity slipped twice as Carl lines is he steps in. It's coming back and over the black dot it goes. So six points to nil the score. So they're set out to the right. Jonah Anderson will be in at first receiver. Watch Sam Gash wrapping around there. The fullback for Arendelle. Here's Anderson with ball in hand now. He finds Gash. Shows the double, double pump snap, links up with his winger in open space. And Alex Sweeney has a clear line to the to the clear run to the line, I should say, and he makes no mistake and extends this Arendale lead. Both of their tries coming off shifts on that right hand side. Plenty of pressure on the pairing of Gibbs and Lawrence are here on this left-hand side for Hallam as they look to poke their nose through. A bit of open air in front of him. Gash has broken straight through. He's got support on the inside and on his right. He links up through the middle. Jack Anderson's going to race away under the post. And it's blinking. You'll miss his stuff from Arendale. And on the back of the kickoff, they made quick work. It was a nice bit of work from Sam Gash. Through and causing all sorts of headaches for the left-edge defense of Hallam. His car... Sends that up to North Melbourne. Over through the post. Handles his assignment on that occasion. Brings Mercer to ground. Joan Anderson first receiver. Back into Jack Anderson. Now in the hands of Ben Castle. Two tackles gone. A layup. Nice pass there for his second row. He bursts through a hole. And McSpadden will go close. And he'll dive over. Well, it was a nice bit of work there from Ethan Alaya. So her hepper to get us back underway. Fielded there by Martin, makes no mistake, and immediately pokes his nose through, breaks through Gibbs, streaking away, he's running out of room, and Hohepa does well to cut him down around the legs. Sweeney in a dummy half. And immediately Arendale looked to shift the ball out to that left-hand side. Thought about the offload. Svaga opts to take the tackle, cut down around the legs. Anderson. Now from dummy half, allowed to run, links up on the left-hand side. Gash throws the ball out there to the left center. Nice interchange of passing, a bit of space here on the left-hand side as he dives for the corner. It was a slight juggle, but Jack Clutterbuck dives over and he gets in on the try-scoring action. He started the one out to the right. What's he got here? Is he lofts it high up in the air and he gets it over the black dot on that occasion. So he learned from his mistakes very quick. Taken around the legs there by Mercer. Gibbs in a dummy half. Long pass out. Rapawama goes a little cross field kick looking to find his outside backs. Ball hits the deck off the chest and into the hands now of Carr. Now Carr all of a sudden, he goes away and he's streaking away. Regan Carr, he's got plenty of speed. They're not going to catch him. And from out of absolutely nothing, Arendale turned defence into attack. And Regan Carr gets himself onto the try scoring sheet. Running 95 metres to score his first four points of the afternoon. Nice bit of work there from Mercer around the legs on the bigger body. Straightening things up towards the post. Manuel. Nelly. Fayoa. Flat pass there onto Dio. Goal on the fence up to the task so far. Nelly tries to barge his way over from dummy half. And Josiah Nelly 
grabs the first points for Hallam in this round three clash. Well, they force the line drop out and ultimately the pressure too much as Hallam get their first four, four pointer, get themselves onto the scoreboard. And Gash in a first receiver, links up with Svaga. He's been strong through the middle for the away side this afternoon. Anderson. Poking his nose through. He th showed it to his left and threw the dummy and went himself. And Jack Anderson dives over to the right of the uprights. He needed to capitalise. As Carr lines up this straight forward attempt and knocks it over. It's almost walking now in the dummy half juice. That's him with ball in hand there as he's seized upon there as he tried to take a run from dummy half. Anderson throws the dummy. Jinx off his right foot, almost sneaks his way through. Cut down there by Hohepper at the back. McCorkin through the dummy, trying to wrestle his way towards the line. Fifth and last now. What have Arendelle got here? Anderson looking to charge his way through from close range. And back-to-back -back tries for Jack Anderson. He's... And he successfully adds the two points. Canberra based outfit. Now Anderson. Bounce out of one tackle. Still going Jack Anderson. He's looking for a hat trick here in the second half. Slow play the ball. McCorkin in a dummy half. Always threatening to run since coming on the field. Tripping over and eventually grabbed there by Tosili. Now Monta looking to work his way towards the post. Well cut down on that occasion. Danger signs here for Hallam as Arendelle set out to the right. Anderson shows the dummy looking to jink his way through. Well, he might have copped a big shot in the set prior, but on that occasion, Jonah Anderson, he's had a ball on the string all afternoon. And then just there, should this conversion attempt be successful as he steps in. He strikes it nicely and adds the extra two, Paul. McCorkin in a dummy half. Gash tries a little trick play here. Pouring through and at the back. Well positioned was Hohepa. As the full-time siren sounds. And it's Arendelle who run out with a convincing victory over Hallam Senior College. 48 points to four down here at Casey Fields for this round three NRL Schoolboys Cup clash. Arendelle too good right across the park.